A Fox 2 follow up now after weeks of fighting, the St. Louis County Council kicks out the former chairwoman and chooses a replacement. Fox 2's Elliot Davis is tracking this heated session and shows what happened in tonight. You paid for it. After weeks of wrangling, Lisa Clancy is out as chairwoman. Councilwoman Retta Days was voted in to take her place. Clancy didn't go down quietly. I appeal that motion. I appeal that action. It was unlawful per the Missouri Constitution and our St. Louis County Charter. The furor erupted January 5th when defeated Councilwoman and Sam Page supporter Rochelle Walton Gray was allowed to vote even though her term ended December 31st. She was defeated by Shalonda Webb, who was sworn in this week. Instead of waiting a week till Webb got in, the council majority voted on the 5th. So Walton could vote for Page's choice, Lisa Clancy. But even though she was voted out as chairman, Lisa Clancy continued today trying to exert authority over newly elected chairwoman, Rita Days. All right, we can move ahead to public forum. Diane, how many speakers do we have today? Excuse uh, me. You are no longer the chair. Rita is the chair. Madam Clerk, and I would like to um, state also that we really encourage you all to turn your cameras on, but we would appreciate seeing you. Please proceed. As the camera was trained on the clerk, the new County Council Chairwoman, Rita Days, had had enough. Councilwoman Clancy, when you were the chair, we respected you. We asked for permission to speak. Please allow me the same respect. This vote was four to three. Whether you think it is illegal or not, please allow the respect of this chair that has just been elected to perform her duties. Councilman Mark Harder was voted in as the new vice chair. After the meeting, I talked to Councilman Tim Fitch, who orchestrated the change at the top. What was your reaction as to how this meeting came out? We felt all along that we had the legal right to do what we were doing, and uh, they feel they have the legal right to do it. But the difference is, is we have four votes, they have three. I also talked to the newest council member, Shalonda Webb, who voted with Fitch to oust Lisa Clancy. I wish it would have been avoided. It could have been avoided. But since we are here, it had to be dealt with. I tried to reach Councilwoman Lisa Clancy for her comment. I didn't hear back. Keep in mind, though, if you spot questionable government spending, make sure you go to our website, foxunow.com, where you can leave your tips and tell me what you think. After all, you paid for it.